Hey, what's up? So before I even get into the news, I have to give you all a shout out for um, all of these awesome tips that you gave me about um, magic kills and esper kills. Because, man, I have been struggling for a long time with those things. And uh, just the fact that there's these, these like, you know, secret, secret little tricks, and apparently not so secret, but secret to me, um, is, is, is crazy. And so, yeah, that was super helpful. So thank you. That's like the most amazing thing about, um, do you do this channel? I don't know. Whenever I talk about like the channel, I just feel super pretentious. So I'm like, I just want to stop. But, um, the good, the good thing about this endeavor or whatever is, um, is the fact that, yeah, you know, this, this give and take and, and the conversations we all have and, how much y'all helped me out so thanks for that um now moving on to the news after uh, after i got all mushy and mushy and mushy with you all right let's go see what's up all right so i kind of feel like i got a heads up on the news because i did watch the um the ffbe what's it called like official video last night um so I kind of feel like I, you know, I know what's going on, but um, and that was all because I was I was responding to one of my favorite commenters, and um, it was brought up that there hadn't been a video in a while, and it wasn't even on my radar because you know I'm never on top of things. But um, after after I finished, you know, commenting, it was like, or I was like in the midst of it or whatever. Then I saw that there was like a video release, crazy. So I watched that last night. So I'm all up to speed, so, um, this might, you know, all this news might be a bit of, uh, you know, anticlimactic for me, uh, but maybe you don't know, so we'll see. Alright, so going down, maintenance is first. It will be on Wednesday. You can't access the game. I always want you to know that. I don't want you to ever, ever have any doubts that you can access the game. Alright. Free daily four star guaranteed summon. Okay, so this is one of the rewards that we got, which I would like to give a shout out to all y'all that have been playing um, these crazy trials because I certainly haven't. And I'm so, so happy to be reaping the rewards from all your hard work. So thanks for that. You know, cheers to you. All right, uh, so we're going to get a free daily four star plus guaranteed summon including two unit-specific moogles. Crazy. Um, these will probably just be gold for me, but, you know, maybe maybe things will maybe things will be awesome for you. Maybe we'll get a lot of rainbows. I don't know. Uh, you let me know so I can feel bad about myself. Just kidding. I'm always happy for you, so let me know. All right, so this is going to go on from, yeah, this Thursday through, wow, Wednesday, 12 that's that's a nice chunk of time i like it all right lots of opportunities to get um to get some some awesome uh four stars all right mm. okay this piece of news i am absolutely not excited for i don't know how long you all have been following me but this stupid battle this stupid great explosion festival um, is, is not, is not something I'm fond of at all. In fact, these, um, they like to call them formidable enemies. I like to just call them a-holes. It's an a-hole family with their stupid boo -bomb children. They're terrible. I don't want to see, I don't, I, I still haven't beat them. And I certainly wouldn't want to watch me, me, um, uh, fight them again. Um, No. Um, so this, this was not something I was excited about. This was something I was like enraged about. So, so I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even like, uh, hang out here. So whenever you demon action, fire star ticket, good for you. All right. I hate, I hate those guys. Stupidest family, worst idiotic family ever. So yeah, I attempted them a couple times. Um, and I think, I think even like got some good tips and whatever. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe nobody was commenting back then, but, um, yeah. Nope. Nope. Not doing it. But mom children, the worst. All right. So moving on from that, sorry, I gotta drink some extra drink just for talking about that whole subject. Trust coin item exchange update. By the way, I just went in there today because I haven't spent any of my trust coins and I bought two prison moogles 
just for safekeeping because you know I don't know if we'll ever be able to make a decision as to what to use them on but I should probably own them so I, I now own them um, not sure not sure if I'll you know use it on that uh, Erd Erdwin is that right Edwin Erdwin's cornet that's a popular choice. Um, not sure if I'll use it on that or if I'll just continue to hoard them, but I got them and, um, I was looking through all my options. Anyway, uh, update to the trust coin item exchange lineup. Cool. So from Thursday on new items added a maximum exchangeable number increased for certain existing items. Wow. So newly added a hundred percent. 100% Super Trust Moogle Exchange Ticket. Wow, I wonder how much that's going to cost. Uh, Grimler's Sakura's Prism. Uh, Chow's Prism. Aang's Prism. Shin's Prism. Oh, that's cool, because I only have one Shin. But um, do I want another? That's the question. By who? And uh, I do have that one. Lucius's Prism. Lilith's Prism. Christine's Prism. Kryla's Prism. Tiana's and Felix's. Oh, man, Tiana's I could definitely use. Cool, sweet. Um, that's awesome. All right, exchangeable number increased. You can now get more select summon tickets. You can get more five star guaranteed ex, EX tickets, more guaranteed ten plus ones, four star guaranteed tickets. All those things that you're probably cautioned not to spend your trust coins on. But hey, you can now buy more of those things. What about like the 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 generic prism? That doesn't seem to be in the list, so... Anyway, I guess I bought the last two on Earth today. Alright, Prayer for Hess Extra Stages. This is what I've been waiting for because I have nothing to do with my energy. Alright, um, starting... Yep, Thursday, you can go in and get some Chris and blah, 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 blah. We know what to do. Where is all the stuff from last night? That's strange. Alright, hold on a second. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go look look up uh look up that stuff so we can talk about it all right let's talk about it it looks like um i'm just gonna kind of go through the screenshots that uh shally provided last night so um if you watched last night's thing this is gonna be is gonna do nothing for you but the event is going to be um i smell a rat um it sounds like it's gonna be like a wave battle ish kind of a thing but i can't even really tell it was kind of ambiguous, um, but um, more uh, more lore about the precursors, so that's always exciting. Um, we were told that like you want to make sure that you log in all the time to get you know this specific item. I think it's a hat or whatever, and then as you play the event, you get currency, you use it to summon for materials to actually upgrade that hat or whatever it is. Um, so I don't know, like some summoning is involved, so it must be a wave battle, like raid kind of a thing is my guess, but I don't know. Um, I, I'm a terrible authority. Uh, in any case, that's supposed to start on Thursday. So I guess all this news will probably show up tomorrow. Um, but I'm not going to do a second video, so I'm going to try and talk about it now and then, and then, you know, whatever. We'll see how it goes. All right. The next thing to talk about is... The new uh, Chinese New Year uh, units. So they will be here um, on Thursday as well. And we're going to have this first guy, which actually I think both of both of these units look absolutely awesome. And I was like, um, I like hearts in my eyes as I looked at both of them. But, um, you know, I don't have any resources to pull for them. So that's going to be kind of tricksy. Anyway, this first guy, Emperor Fu. Um, Dude, look how cool he is. Like, just everything going on. His sprite is amazing. Um, and he's interesting. He's an interesting guy. He's a support. He's a debuffer. He also does, like, all this, uh, like, uh, evocation damage. Um, which, you know, isn't super popular. But uh, it's just nice. I, I like to see something a little bit different. So, he can buff your party. He can help out with damage mitigation. Um, no, I'm feeling kind of comfortable because I just got Regis. I have Luna Freya. Like, I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at my support units. But, um, this guy can give killers for beast and human to your entire party. Um, he's pretty much like, 
of like one of those units that is going to like actually make use of the evocation gauge, which which most of the time goes unused. So, um, you know, he's got this move, Celestial Destiny, which he uses the evocation gauge to fill the um, LB, LB gauge for all allies except herself, which is, is really actually a super, super useful thing. I mean, to be able to, to basically take a gauge that um, is, is doing nothing, it's just sitting there and like convert it into absolutely um, usable energy. That's, that's awesome. So that's a cool move. Um, you can also consume the evocation gauge uh, to like allow all allies to evade physical attacks three times. So just a lot of interesting things that he can do with, with the evocation gauge that actually like put it to use in, in cool like support ways. Um, he can use the evocation gauge to like deal damage, like AoE fire damage or something. And Shallow is saying it's like some 20, 20 time modifier or something like that. So um, Emperor Fu, man, has a lot going on. Uh, his TMR and Caridian of Warfare um, it's an accessory attack defense plus 15, magic spirit plus 30, which isn't like by itself impressive, but it also has this like strange passive, which gives you 20% for each of these stats and provided you, uh, you know, um, fulfill the condition. So, uh, 20% MP with a robe, 20% attack with a sword, 20% magic and spirit with a staff, 20% defense with a helm, and 20% HP with light armor. So obviously, like, you know, it's going to be a little tricksy to, like, try and uh, fulfill all those requirements. Um, I mean, you can't have you can't have the MP with the robe and the HP with the light armor at the same time, obviously. But, you know, it's interesting. It's, it's different. It's kind of cool. It's also um, nothing to get, I think, super wild about because you do have to think, like, you know, the, the stats aren't super high and you have to fulfill each individual thing. Whereas, like, I kind of prefer just, like, you know, Chocobo Reigns armor where you get that 20% uh, HP and you get, you know, that, that boost on all those stats. Uh, Protector of Lapis is another one and... Um, I don't know. You know, there's other things out there, but this is for sure an interesting and super versatile TMR. Um, provided, provided you can fulfill enough of those things to make it worth your while. But then looking at his S TMR, you have this light elemental staff, the third Nirvana, with crazy, crazy nice uh, magic and spirit stats. You have magic plus 120, spirit plus 140. Um, if if it's on uh, Emperor Fu, you get this passive Imperial Error, which fills Evocation Gauge at the beginning of battle, which obviously, since he makes such good use of his Evocation Gauge, this is awesome and super important for him. Um, now, I don't know how much it's going to fill it. I don't know if they mean, like, fill it entirely or just, like, fill it partially. But um, but that general that general fill, obviously, you know, works works well for him. And then the second passive, Imperial Legacy, um, basically just uh, can apply to any ev evoker, which I don't know who all uses evokers nowadays, but if you did, uh, Imperial Legacy boosts your magic and spirit, it boosts parameters of Vespers evoked by 30%, and it boosts uh, evocation damage. So um, just something to keep in mind uh, as far as like if you wanted to use this with somebody else but yeah again i don't know shout out if you're using evokers for sure and so next we have uh one of those dual units um another awesome awesome looking sprite man i love how she's kind of like riding on his cape um beautiful beautiful sprite um this is uh Xuan Wu. <laughs> and Shinlong? I don't know. I, I, I can't help you there. But um, anyhow, another interesting unit where it's like an attack unit and a tank unit. Uh, it's a monk, so it's spirit scaling, which is also super bizarre. 
Um, but anyhow, this unit's going to be primarily Bolting Strike uh, family. Uh, it could self-imbue Fire and Wind. It could deal Ice and Water damage. So you, you know, have a bunch of elements being uh being tackled there um also has some innate beast human killers innate magical magic physical evasion so again a lot of interesting things going on with with his uh beautiful beautifully created character so um always fun to see um it'd be more fun to see if i actually had resources to pull for these guys but i absolutely don't um one one notable uh, move that this unit has is uh, special arts Azure Dragon style, which will um, basically break the enemy's spirit by seventy percent while boosting own spirit. And because this is a spirit scaling unit, that's actually you know super super helpful. And like, can we talk about spirit scaling or just spirit units in general? Um, I just trying to equip Regis actually uh, it was a little tricky because I had so much um, equipment and materia that super supported um, spirit when equipped with a staff but you know uh, Regis Regis can't equi equip um, staves I should say staves um, so it was a little tricky to try and, and gear him and, and get his spirit up as much as I possibly could uh, w without having that, that staff uh, thing going on. So it is interesting. Uh, I was looking, I was actually scouring my units. I was looking for TMRs to pursue, STMRs to pursue, and, and I was looking through to see if there were any that really um, did a good job at boosting spirit. Um, but so many of, of the spirit stuff is is uh, seriously centered on, on staff. So... Um, anyhow, moving on from that, this, uh, this unit on that note has a TMR called Jade Bracers, which is a fist weapon, a measly attack plus 30, but that doesn't matter because it's all about spirit, right? And spirit is 125 on this bad boy, this bad boy fist, uh, as well as an MP spirit plus 20%, um, addition to that. So that's pretty cool. This will be helpful, you know, Regis can equip a fist so this isn't going to help him but this fist is certainly certainly going to be something you would want to put on this unit if you if you have this unit um stmr is a materia called heavenly presence which um again is something you would absolutely want to use on this specific unit uh it's got uh, a 80 percent spirit boost when equipped with a fist so awesome awesome and as well as uh, boosting LB damage by 30%. So super, super useful. I know there are other units that can equip fists and maybe ones that want spirit, but um, my Regis is still left out and I'm still having to kind of kind of work with what I got there, but it's fine. Mm. So if you'd like to pursue these, these new uh, Chinese New Year units, they're going to be available on Step Up, a 24K uh, five-step Step Up. It doesn't have my favorite um, max level cactars on it. So uh, that's a super bummer. But um, you do get the guaranteed unit at the end, one or the other. So that's awesome. And it's important to note that when you have these two units in the same party, I guess they get bonuses by, by being in the party together. We've seen that before with other units, but um, it's always kind of cool. I think that's kind of a nice addition, but for sure with these with these recent Chinese New Year's uh, units, you will um, you'll get a bonus if you have them both in your party at the same time. So that's good to know. Um, you also you know you you'll get that rainbow on step three, but um, just you know I'm telling you now you're not going to get the max level king king uh king cactars that i i love so dearly um and then in addition to that there's going to be a banner for the old units which actually is actually you know a, a pretty decent banner so um old units are getting a step up a 7k step up it's a two-stepper 
um, which which always gets a little ner nerve wracking. But this is actually in this case a pretty good two stepper. So um, guaranteed rainbow at the end, and each guaranteed rainbow or each rainbow, I'm sorry, that you pull in this two step will be an on banner unit. Um, so that's kind of like your little, little, your little safety net. And at the end, at the second step, you do get a rainbow guaranteed. So it's going to be a guaranteed on banner. So it's a matter of like, do you need one of these units? So for me, uh, personally, um, I do have a uh, buy who I don't have uh, a seven star uh, with, with Shin. Um, but I do have Chow seven star. I do have, um, Ong seven star. And I think they're super interesting units and super, super fun units. So, so it's pretty much a matter of asking yourself like whether, whether, uh, whether the random, you know, chance of pulling any of these Chinese New Year's units is, is worth your while. Um, for me, I don't know, and I don't have the resources anyway, so I don't even have to. I don't even have to know, so it's kind of a pass. But I think it's a pretty good step up um, if if these units are are people that you like to pull. So that's there if you want it. Um, moving on from that, yes, ability awakenings for our friends Shin and Baihu uh, Kui. Sorry, I can't say it. Um, but that's exciting. I can't wait to see what kind of ability awakenings they get. Um, I was, I don't, like I said, I don't have seven star, uh, Shin, but I, I know everyone was like super unimpressed when that unit came out. Um, and it was all about just like wait for Elephant to get her enhancements cause she's going to be bonkers. But, um, we'll see that hasn't even happened yet. So we're still waiting on that. But, um, I did get by who at seven star and I feel like they're a really interesting pair, pair, pair of cats. So, um, I'll, I'll be looking into what these ability awakenings are. I'm, I'm excited to see that. Um, uh, beyond that, you also have latent abilities and they said for, for Yoon, Ong, Chao, uh, Shin and, um, and by who, uh, so We'll have to see what that is. Not that I can afford any of those because I always forget to do my enlightenment, enlightenment, enlightenment ability points or whatever you know you need for those things. So um, that's just something that I'll um, hope to see eventually. Anyway, um, okay. So uh, the other thing Shelly noted was that there's going to be this like, Chinese New Year login bonus where you might get tokens and was suggested that mini games lost a chocobo could be it. So, um, make sure you log in all the time and get those. I don't know. I'm always happy to see, to see slash a chocobo. It always kind of puts a smile on my face. I don't mind it one bit. Um, there's always, you know, that, that off chance that you're going to get something amazing. And, and even if not, like it's, it's kind of just fun to, Fun to have the option, so I enjoy it. I have no problem with it whatsoever. So that kind of covers the the news that they handed out and the news that they're probably going to give us tomorrow. But I'd rather I'd rather uh, cover it all together at the same time. I also can't wait to see um, what the awakenings will be for for my uh, Baihu unit. Uh, excited about that. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I might even go get. Shin's prism uh, in the shop if uh, you know his his awakenings end up being like totally crazy and awesome although I do have LFM waiting in the wings for hers so I'm getting ahead of myself I don't really need supports but yeah mostly I'm just happy to get more to do in the game because my energy is at a like all time high and, and I don't know how to spend it so um, yeah, uh, Thursday can't come soon enough. I need, I need stuff to do. All right. So as far as the units look, I mean, I have zero, zero complaints there. They look amazing. They're beautiful units. Um, they're interesting units. Their TMRs or SDMRs are, are interesting and different. So, uh, th that's all I'm about. I, I like seeing something, um, to shake everything up. I mean, you get a little, 
a little get a get a little uh, crazy when you when you're watching the uh, you know attack plus forty percent attack plus forty percent uh, on everybody's TMR it gets old pretty quickly. In fact, on that note, like I had to make a big list of uh, STMRs to pursue because uh, I had all these units and I had to go look them up and I had to go find out like what I actually want to do. So I've been doing a lot of that lately, making some STMRs, using that gill, and uh, you know, uh, pursuing some TMRs, things, you know, just doing some general maintenance on and making worthwhile um, choices with the units I have. So. Uh, that's, that's, I've been productive. I've been super productive and I feel pretty good about it. So that's what I've been up to. Hope you all are having fun with this. Uh, let me know what you think about these units. I, I think they're, they're gorgeous. Um, can't pull for them, but, uh, but gorgeous and interesting. And we won't know quite how strong they are. Uh, we'll find that out at a later date, but, um, but yeah, um, let me know what you think, and that 7k pull for the old units is uh, certainly, certainly, certainly friendly. Uh, should you should you have the resources to spend? I sure don't, but um, but that's fine. All right, so um, hey, uh, look forward to this maybe in tomorrow's morning where you can get a nice uh, up close and personal view of it. Um, but if not, uh, what can I say? But, um, hey, have a good night and as always, um, cheers.